Yes, an ignition switch can indeed cause no power to a fuel pump. The ignition switch is a critical component in your vehicle's electrical system. It's essentially the gatekeeper that controls the electrical flows to various crucial systems within your car, including your fuel pump. When you turn the key in the ignition, or press the start button in more modern cars, the ignition switch is responsible for sending an electrical signal that powers up the fuel pump, among other things. If the ignition switch is faulty or malfunctioning, it may fail to send this signal. As a result, your fuel pump won't receive the power it needs to operate, preventing fuel from reaching the engine. Here are a few ways this issue might manifest. 1. Worn contacts. Over time, the contacts within the ignition switch can wear out, leading to poor electrical connectivity. This might cause intermittent or no power delivery to the fuel pump. 2. Ignition lock cylinder. In older vehicles, the mechanical part of the ignition switch, the lock cylinder, can become worn or damaged which can again affect the electrical connectivity necessary to power the fuel pump. 3. Electrical connection. Loose or corroded connections within the ignition switch can also lead to interruptions in power delivery, causing the fuel pump to malfunction. Symptoms to watch out for. Your car cranks but doesn't start. The engine stalls soon after starting. You don't hear the fuel pump priming when you turn the key, usually a humming sound coming from the rear of the vehicle. What to do? If you suspect an ignition switch issue, it's crucial to get it checked out by a qualified mechanic. Diagnosing and fixing electrical problems often require specialized tools and expertise. The mechanic will likely perform tests to confirm whether the ignition switch is the root cause of the fuel pump's power issues. Taking care of this promptly is important. Ignition switch problems are not just an inconvenience. They can also be a safety risk, potentially leading to unexpected stalling or other issues while driving. So definitely keep an eye out for those signs and don't hesitate to get professional help. It's always better to err on the side of caution when it comes to your vehicle's electrical system.